हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a problem on DTFT. Here, we need to use the appropriate property to find the DTFT of the given signal. Let us consider the first problem, where x of n is given as 3 into 2 to the power of n u of minus n. From the property of DTFT, we know that alpha to the power of n u of n. For this, if we perform DTFT. We will get one divided by one minus alpha into exponential to the power of minus j omega. For two to the power of n u of n, we can find the DTFT as one divided by one minus two into exponential to the power of minus j omega. Since we require two to the power of n u of minus n, we can use time reversal property. Therefore, two to the power of n u of minus n. For this, if we perform dt of t, so we'll obtain one divided by one minus two into exponential to the power of j omega. Now we can use linearity property, and we can find the dt of t of three into two to the power of n u of minus n. So for this, if we perform dt of t, so we'll obtain. Three divided by one minus two into exponential to the power of j omega. So this is the dt of t of the given sequence. Now let us consider a second problem where x of n is given as n into one by two whole to the power of magnitude of n. From our previous discussion, we know that a to the power of magnitude of n. For this, if we perform dt of t, we will obtain one minus a square. Divided by one minus two a cos omega plus a square. Therefore, half to the power of magnitude of n. For this, if we perform dt of t, we'll obtain one minus one by two whole square divided by one minus two into one by two cos omega plus one by two square. Therefore, one by two magnitude of n. For this, if we perform dt of t, so we can write this as three by four divided by one minus cos omega plus one by four. So this can be written as three by four divided by five by four minus cos omega. Now let us use Frequency differentiation property. So, using frequency differentiation property, so n half to the power of magnitude of n. For this, if we perform dt of t, so we will obtain j d by d omega of x of omega. Therefore, n half to the power of magnitude of n. For this, if we perform dt of t. So we can write this as j d by d omega x of omega. We have already obtained it as three by four divided by five by four cos omega. If we differentiate and simplify this equation, so we'll obtain n half to the power of magnitude of n. For this, if we perform d t of t, we'll obtain minus j three by four. Sin omega divided by phi by four minus cos omega whole square. So this is the dt of t of the given sequence. This is about the problems on dt of t using properties of dt of t. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.